are you doing? Here comes Amber Lynn. Oh, girl. Easily, I have lost over a thousand pounds. Proud of myself. Hey, girls, how you doing? I'm back again with part 22 of the never ending series. This one was a tough edit. Definitely gonna make you rage. Enjoy. It's like ALR doesn't know she's 600 LBs. Well, I'm not. You're not 600 pounds, are you? No. Um, she's not that big. No, no, no. When I order food, I almost feel like the waitress or waiter is like judging what I'm about to say I wanna eat. And I feel like people around me are hardcore judging me and I shouldn't have to feel this way while skinny people are eating like four plates. I've gone out to eat plenty of times in my life. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, even when I was in like elementary school, I would eat other kids' foods. Not even kidding. In elementary school, I used to steal kids' lunchbox when they were on the side of the thing when we were at recess. And then when I got into middle school, still didn't care. High school, didn't care. Um, I got free lunches, but then the foster home I was in, like she also gave me money for school lunches. So I was having free lunch and then I also bought another lunch and I just didn't care what people thought of me, like in the slightest, slightest bit. Thinking about all those poor kids that went hungry at school because Amber was on an eating rampage actually pisses me off. Not only is she unusually hungry, but she's also incredibly selfish. Wow. People are like, you can walk in the store, you don't need a scooter. I do. I just can't walk for more than 10 minutes. Example, this was pathetic. Like, pathetic. Pathetic. You guys know how I use a scooter in the stores? So, we were at Target last night and my scooter died. <laughs> My scooter literally died. We were way in the Christmas area, so that's way in the back. Becky had actually went to the bathroom, so I ended up texting her. Literally, I have the text message. This is like literally so true. I said, my cart died, can you bring me another? She just kind of roped me in. And she was just like, okay. And I was like, this sucks. And she's like, I'm trying, but the bathroom was farther than I thought it was. And I was like, someone just made an annoying sound like they saw me, like they were shocked at how fat I am. Bean bag in a hurry. She replied with, ignore that <laughs> And I was like, I did. I ended up getting out of the scooter. There was actually a worker near me. She was like, you know, if that cart's dead or that scooter's dead, you can just, you know, leave it there. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> getting out of the scooter, taking Becky's cart, and I was waiting for her. And I think it was up most about five or six minutes and I couldn't breathe. My back was hurting. Like my back was hurting, couldn't breathe. My heart was thumping. I was just like, please hurry, my back. So we've been always doing what you want to do and going where you want to go. Babe, that sounds so bad. Always give in, don't I? Oh my God, that sounds so bad, how tweet. She said it herself. That is pathetic. Imagine literally eating yourself into helplessness like I just can't wrap my head around it. Why would you want that kind of life? Can't even walk into Target without inconveniencing your partner and others around you. Every little thing is a struggle and she refuses to do anything about it. So I also wanted to talk about something else which is kind of embarrassing and I feel rather ashamed. From swelling so much as of lately, I actually can't fit in the car right now i can't get the door to close so i wasn't even able to go to my appointment yesterday i rescheduled it i'm just gonna work towards unswelling my body and i know i can do that because i was able to do that when i just a few weeks ago i was able to unswell myself so that's just kind of what i'm going to be aiming for my feet swell really bad when i'm sitting for too long and i know a lot of people are like you do sit all day i meant when i sit without my legs being elevated my feet swell as of lately. I have really, really processed in my head how big I am and how unhealthy I am. And I think that's what's causing me to become like a hermit. Like I'm just terrified to go in public and ashamed to go in public because of how I look. And it's just, 
it's uncomfortable and it's sad it's depressing and I know people look at me with pity and people look at me like I'm disgusting and people make fun of me in public and I just I get it now she was so much more honest about her struggles back then now she acts like there's never issues and no one ever stares or makes fun of her now everyone just hits on her and tells her how pretty she is when she goes out lol what changed besides her weight going up when i got into the doctor's office there was nowhere for me to sit because my ass is too big to fit in the chair and every single one of the chairs had those arms on it but they were definitely tiny trust me lately i have been having to ask just for peer tables instead of kind of hoping to fit into booths booths in restaurants I don't fit in really any of them. I wasn't able to sit down, so then I had to stand. I had to stand for about 15 minutes, and I'm not used to that. I don't stand on a regular basis. The longest I stand is daily in the shower. I try to take the fastest showers that you've ever known in your life. So then when they finally called me back, <laughs> you guys know when you go to hospitals or you go to like doctors, go down this hallway, go down that one, turn that way, go down this way, go down that hallway, and then that one. It's just like you're going down all these ways and then finally when it's time to leave, you're like lost. <laughs> I was walking and walking and walking and walking to get to the room. I don't walk anymore. Like I have a Fitbit, I don't use it. I have legs, I really use them. I had to walk from the car into the doctors, which for me is already hard enough. I have legs and rarely use them that sums her up as a person. You know those things that you have to like walk through for it to kind of scan you as a person, like those metal bars? Well, I didn't fit in it. I couldn't fit in it whatsoever. I couldn't even walk through it. And it was really embarrassing. There was no way for me to get past. So the lady's like, well, turn around and come through the exit. I mean, the whole thing was the most embarrassing thing in the world. So I just left. Becky said you had to practice walking to the mailbox because you weren't. I thought I had to practice walking to the mailbox as well until I realized I could walk to the mailbox about 10 times over and be just fine. I own everything happening. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Um. No, she's not checking out of the stream. She just needs a minute. Okay. They tell Amberlynn I send a virtual hug. Hearing her cry off screen breaks my heart. Oh. Wait, you guys heard that? Mm -hmm. I was trying my hardest not to have an anxiety attack. And it was, uh, it was scary. A sad hooting. I hate that clip so bad. She knew exactly what she was doing. She wanted people to hear her and feel bad for her. I'll be honest. I used to have a lot of sympathy for Amberlynn, but like many others, that is completely non-existent now. The lies, the smugness, the freaking cycle. It's exhausting. I don't know how she does it. Someone said like, I'm digging my grave with a fork, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they said. And that hurts, like, and it doesn't hurt because the person said it. It doesn't hurt because they're rude. None of that is it. What hurts is because it's true. I feel like I fucked my life up and I honestly feel like I have ruined my life. That is honestly how I feel. Like, I could be so much more than what I am. I could be a strong, independent, successful person. I believe that. I do have talents and <laughs> it's not talents that I'm going to sit here and like show you guys, but I do have talents and I feel like... People would take my talents more serious if I took care of myself. And just by physically looking at me, I, I don't take care of myself. I'm not fat. I have fat.